<laughs> Hi, it's Terry Calhoun. I'm at SCUP 45 and I'm in one of the session rooms where uh, Planner Emeritus at the University of Virginia, Ray Haas, also an independent consultant, uh, gave what is probably maybe his 200th session or, or, or on, uh, on strategic planning at different levels. And so, Ray, I'm going to ask you to tell me what you think the folks who were here in a few minutes ago uh, left with that was really key for them. One of our last discussions had to do with uh, what ideas are you going to give some further thought to after you get back home. And having led a seminar, one of the beauties of that is you learn a lot. And the thought I'm going to take with me as I go back home is uh, the reality for higher education right now is that we're probably going to get through the next year with the uh, things that we've done to manage that. And most of those are things we've done before. But the other reality is that this uh, difficult time in which we find ourselves is probably going to last three to five years, which will be longer than most of the difficult times we've had in, say, the last 50 years. And so my question is this. Um, most institutions will have to have to their decisions about what they're going to do next year uh, for 2010-2011. They have to have those completed sometime before Christmas. And that's going to mean that they're going to have to have decisions in place for board meetings or whatever the group may be that, that, that will occur usually in the first quarter of the following fiscal year. And so here we are in July and decisions of a major uh, nature are going to have to be made sometime in October or November. And then what I'm wondering about is who at our home institutions is giving thought to that timeline and beginning to structure the kind of discussions that will have to be held in order for some fairly major restructuring to occur in a lot of our colleges and universities. I got to ask you though, you said who is doing that, and my question would be, is anyone doing it? <laughs> well, I wondered that, but that led me to the question, who was it? I like to think about who is it that gets up in the morning knowing uh, that if it isn't getting done uh, it, it, by, uh, by him or by her, uh, that it's not getting done by anyone. That's my major thought as I'm leaving here. We have about five months. And, and yeah, I'm hearing a lot of people refer to that brief window in order to plan for the next three to five years, which uh, where there's a, apparently a real need to re make some real change, and and not, people aren't seeing a whole lot of real change happening yet. Yeah, That's right. did the folks in your in your in your group did, uh, did anything? They share anything of particular interest to you uh, today or yesterday? Well, uh, the bottom line though, is that a number of them began thinking that this is going to be the season. Uh, for the technique called scenario planning. Uh, uh, this mm -hmm. may be the, the ideal time for that. And I suspect that that's the, the case as well. The other thought I had is that these are going to be very difficult time for planners because they're the folks that manage processes and, and, and manage the process by which the institution will be making these kinds of decisions. This is going to be a particularly, potentially hazardous time for planners because they're going to be uh, organizing things while the institution's going through a lot of stress. And persons always want to punish the messenger as much as they want uh, to, to punish the, uh, the person who made the decision. So it's going to be a critical time. And, and one of the things that came up in our uh, discussions is that there will be persons who will, who will feel that they've been uh, treated um, in ways they wouldn't like as a result of big decisions to be made and I think it's going to be important as part of the process that their needs uh, be met and that, that we have an abundance of empathy at this time. Empathy. Yeah, that's a good one to close on, Ray. I think we all could use a little empathy uh, going into the end of the stimulus money before the real recovery starts to happen. Thank you very much, Ray. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.